internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new friend on the line from Boston. Are you there? I am. I forgot your name already. Jay Rice. Jay Rice. How can I forget that? It's just short. It is. So, Jay, we tried to do this <laughs> earlier and had some issues, but we'll persevere because uh, you can't fail if you don't quit, right? So, we talked a little bit about uh, your family. you got a family and you've been in Boston for a long time? Yeah. That's right, Magic Brad. I mean, I've been, uh, you know, I've traveled all over the world, but um, my roots are here in Boston, uh, Boston area of Massachusetts. And I usually uh, have lived, or basically I've lived within about an hour of the city. Um, but yeah, it's a good home base. And you're married, got kids and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Keeps me busy. <laughs> That's what I understand. Very I don't, busy. I don't have any. My wife's got one when he was younger. He was a challenge, but now he's old and he's an adult, so it's a little easier to deal with. But uh, kids, yeah. That's something to deal with. <laughs> it's like technology. Absolutely. So what are you doing now for uh, living or what did you, what's your history? Yeah. So, um, you know, sales and marketing has been my, um, my background, but it's always been technology products. Uh, everything from uh, being part of startups that were acquired. Uh, one of them was acquired by eBay. Um, you know, we raised money in IPO. Uh, and then I was CEO of the U.S. division of a European company. Um, and then I started my own business back in the Great Recession, which was like the worst time <laughs> to start a business, but worked out pretty well. You know, grew the business, uh, it's, you know, it's a seven-figure business from scratch. Um, and then from that business, I uh, learned a lot, doubled down on internet marketing, uh, search engine optimization, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and I found there was a, an issue that I had um, with, the, with converting website visitors into leads. So I did what any good entrepreneur would do, is I created a solution for that problem. Um, and then that basically that solution started working so well for me and for others who tried it that I actually spun that um, intellectual property out of my other business and sold my other business. And one of my uh, uh, claims to fame is that I actually sold my last business using a, a digital funnel. Okay, I, I'm, I'm starting to understand that because that's some of the stuff that I do as far as the marketing end of things. But as far as the development, forget about it. That ain't going to happen here. I can't code anything. <laughs> so. You, so this is like a soft, an online software that people can use to generate leads, and does it like plug into your website or something, or is it a freestanding page, or how does that? Yeah, so um, so this could be you know uh, something that's interesting. So there's three major problems that all websites face today, um, other than getting traffic, because the fact of the matter is that traffic to a website uh, is it's relatively easy to get. I mean, it's mm -hmm. essentially a commodity. I mean, you can use uh, pay per click ads, you can use uh, Facebook ads, you know, you can use search engine optimization and pick your flavor. Right. So getting traffic is not the issue, but converting the traffic um, into quality leads is the issue. Right. And studies show that um, fewer than three out of a hundred visitors to the average website will actually contact the business or become a lead. Sure. Uh, and the best, yeah, and that's actually across all different types of industries. The very best websites might convert at 5%, so the five out of 100 visitors. So still it's pretty pathetic because 95 out of 100 you know, that you spent to get to that site are leaving, going off into the digital ether, right? right? And, and never coming back. So um, what, it, what uh, our software does is basically solves three problems. Number one is the conversion issue. Uh, number two uh, is the fact that ex qualifying those leads, those visitors when they come to a website, is time consuming and it's costly. And number three, um, you know, the internet's open 24 hours. Websites are open 24 hours, but most businesses are not, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, nobody wants to work 24 hours a day. It's not <laughs> not physically possible. Um, so what we basically have is we have a tool, and it's an AI agent, uh, and it looks and feels like a live chat agent, and it proactively engages website visitors, captures their contact information, uh, gets their qualification down of why they came to the website, what they're interested in, okay? And then it sends all of that information to the right team member for follow-up, and it does it 
24 hours a day. And because it's AI, no human needs to be present on the chat. It's not like a live chat. Okay, so I, I think I'm kind of getting this. And there are things like Infusionsoft that was nicknamed Confusionsoft for good reason because I had it for yep. many years and it was difficult to use and it was doing segmenting and all that kind of thing. But what you're mm -hmm. talking about is a little bit different. And I had a, an experience where a person called me, called me by my name. I talked to her. I told her I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. And yes, I'll do this. And I won't do that. And Eventually, it got around to the loop where it started over again. And I realized, oh my God, I was talking to a robot. I didn't realize it. I thought it was a real deal. Mm. So, is it something like that? Where I mean, people don't think that it's a real person, but it but it will answer their questions. Like, I'm interested in product A. Would you please blah blah blah? Um, well, actually, people do believe it's a real person. Okay. <laughs> and yes, and uh, the way it works is it's like live chat on a website. So you're not actually talking; you're typing. Right, it's right. all text-based. Um, so yeah, um, but the but the key thing again is the capture, the qualification, and the fact that it's doing an autopilot. Uh, so there's no such thing as perfect artificial intelligence. So, and the weird thing that's uh, it's kind of annoying actually is that when people find out that it's not, so the people who use our technology on other websites run over in a dozen industries, uh, and because this was spun out of my last company, which was a military tech company, um, it's proven. You know, we've actually came up with the technology in 2013, and we've we've actually delivered thousands of leads to those businesses across those 12 industries. And what we found is that uh, over 90% of the website visitors who interact with our agents believe they are actually talking to a real person. Wow. However, however, when I, uh, our marketing or by word of mouth or verbally, I inform somebody that, hey, this is uh, an AI agent, their first instinct will, will be to enter something that a normal website visitor would never enter, which is like something ridiculous, like, you know, what's the weather on Mars or can I have a cup of coffee? Or, Right. And it's like, sure, you can fool the agent because there's no such thing as perfect AI. Uh, but that's kind of missing the point at, right. at that stage. Right? Yeah, ask a real question. Be authentic. Yeah, ask a real question. Right. So what we do, uh, Brad, is we script uh, four specific industries. So if you're a chiropractor, for example, uh, what we've done is we've actually gone through, we've identified the common questions uh, and the best responses to the normal um, chiropractic website visitor. Uh, we've done the same thing with uh, dental. And uh, we also have uh, you know, legal. We've got a, a whole a bunch of different industries and we're cool. actually uh, coming out with these tailored packages. So it's pretty cool. That does sound pretty interesting because then you're asking real practical questions, you know, because you don't want something that's designed for a chiropractor to be going off to a legal right. person because it's not going right. to make any sense. So, th so then when it gets on there, I'm assuming that uh, that will segment and send the right lead to the right person for the right reason kind of thing. Well, what happens after the capture is, you know, it's up to the business owner. Um, so we work with Infusionsoft, so yeah, so I've actually had Infusionsoft since it was really confusing back in 2010, um, and so we actually plug into Infusionsoft, so you okay. know, how cool is it, right, to be a business owner, and you know, Friday, say, say you pack up for the weekend on Friday night, um, you know, someone on Friday night goes to the website, they chat with your Thinking Chat agent, it's the name of our business, Thinking Chat, so they chat with your Thinking Chat agent, um, get some basic information. Uh, the agent captures all that information and, and an automated email sequence starts so you can start warming up that visitor. Say if you're a dentist or you know doctor or whatever or you know online marketer, you start sending information, indoctrinating that visitor so, uh, into your funnels. So how many other um, softwares does it plug in with other than Infusionsoft? Are there others? Um, uh, yeah, so there are others. So for example, Slack. Um, are you familiar with Slack? No. It's a great um, tool for teams. So... Basically, what happens I think I've is, heard of it. So Slack, uh, Aweber, GetResponse? Aweber, yep. Uh, GetResponse we're coming out with, uh, MailChimp. Yeah, so okay, right now, those cool. primarily. But the other thing, too, is you can do a CSV export from our um, from our dashboard. So essentially, it's just like, you know, it'll go into anything. I mean, you take CSV, it's like, you know, it's basically um, com separated values files. So you can just take that from our dashboard, and you can upload it into it. Will, will it go into CRM. this? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, what, what happens is uh, every time, so uh, you don't even need a CRM to use it because every time a visitor goes to the website and has an engagement with our agent, that information is sent to you via email. Okay. Sounds very, very cool. Um, share a little bit with uh, how do they get a hold of you and learn more about it. And then I want to ask you my big why question, then we'll be done. <laughs> yeah, sure. So the business is Thinking Chat. It's thinkingchat.com. Uh, you can just check us out right there. Okay. Um, so that's easy breezy not. thinking chat, thinkingchat.com. I like that. Simple. That's why I use magic Brad. It's easy to find me.
It is, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the big why question. The big why question is why? Why are you doing this? Why aren't you like a fitness trainer or a martial arts expert? Or why didn't you go into acting? Or, or why are you doing this? <laughs> well, there's still the future for those things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know, uh, this is just something that I found worked really well, and it's very interesting, and it's and it basically lets technology work for you. It was a way that I found to digitally clone myself. Um, and so as, as, as someone who likes to use technology to enhance my lifestyle, it was very attractive for me to do that for my own business. Uh, so, so I found that this technology worked so well for me, and it allowed me to enhance my lifestyle by digitally cloning myself uh, at my other business. And it was very rewarding and satisfying when I started to have other business owners experience the same thing. Um, so just always been interested in marketing and business. And it's really great to have something that started really literally as a napkin, you know, paper back of a napkin uh, sketch. Uh, and now it's, you know, it's a real product with customers and, you know, investors we're talking to and all that other kind of stuff. So it's, it's really cool. Um, and, you know, really it's, it's an entrepreneurial journey and uh, I don't see this as like the final thing that I ever do, but uh, right now it's really cool. So what I, I heard a little bit in there that you're kind of doing this to help other people with their businesses. So um, when I do these things, uh, oftentimes when I ask the big why question, it's about people helping people. So that's refreshing to know again. <laughs> yes. Okay. I appreciate you taking the dime today on Synergy Cafe. I'm going to sign this one off, put it in the can as they say, and then beam it up to the internet. So thanks again for taking the time. Peace. You bet. Sounds good. Take care.